intelligence is about making links, assembling different elements to find solutions. To understand it, you must be able to break it down and isolate all of its components. So researchers are looking into its various facets. To measure intelligence, one of the first ideas was to measure the speed a brain reacted. This was the method used by Professor Jan Tainijenhuis. He compared our reaction time with that of our ancestors, and the results of his study are not in our favor. To measure reaction, you present a subject with a light on a screen. The subject must press on a button to say whether the light is on the right or on the left. It's not a question of a reflex action, but of a simple piece of data that the brain must treat. These studies of reaction times are already very old. Some of studies were done in the 1860s. And in, 18, in the 1880s, a very, very large study was done in uh, Great Britain by Francis Galton, the cousin of Charles Darwin, and where he tested several thousand people, and the samples were quite representative of the population of Great Britain at that time. And then people had very quick reaction times. And then uh, we looked at all the comparable studies that were done in the 120 or 130 years afterwards. We found some 10 or 15 studies, and we show that over a course of 150, 150 years, people have been getting slower and slower and slower and slower. For Professor Tainijenhuis, intelligence equals speed. And our brain supposedly takes, on average, 50 milliseconds more than that of our great-grandparents to treat simple data. 50 milliseconds more. This may sound like a ridiculously small, a ridiculously uh, a small effect. But think, uh, you have to make thousands and thousands and thousands of decisions every day. And if you're just a, a little bit slower at every decision you make, this is a really, really, really big effect. Professor Tainijenhuis is convinced that we are less intelligent than in the 19th century. <laughs> 